Hello, you're watching the Dr. Nandy Show, and today we're learning how to live happy. And dare I say, everyone is in pursuit of the often elusive happiness, right? The great thinker Aristotle said, what is the true purpose of life? If not, to live a happy life until we die. Profound, right? I mean, we all are, agree with that. Here to help us in our quest for happiness is Dr. Andrea Gigline, the happiness expert known as Dr. Success. Welcome, Dr. Success. Thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for so having much. me here. Of course, my pleasure. You know, you're an expert in positive psychology. What the heck is that? Well, I'm an expert in the applied positive psychology. Oh. I actually carry on my little back all of the great research of the the thought leaders of the field, the Marty Seligmans, the, the Barbara Fredricksons, and what I do is then deliver that information in a way that you can work with it in your day-to-day -day life. I tend to stay in the area of work and success at work, but that's what I do. I look at it from the standpoint of how do you apply this? And so, and so a lot of people say, so how do you define happiness? You know, and, and tell me, and I'm sure it's in your book, but what, what is happiness? I am a person who will not tell you what happiness is or anyone else, but I will tell you what the parts are. Okay. The parts are having positive emotion in your life. The parts are having engagement, relationships, meaning, achievement. That's what I work in. And with that, you do your values. You really understand what your characteristics are that bring you up and happy. You bring them to work or in everything that you do. And it is amazing how that thing known as happiness shows up in your life. That's so you nice. define it. You That's define so nice. It. You know, I think that it's almost like trying to say, I'm going to go on a diet <laughs> to lose weight, right? right? You're gonna eat this stuff and stop this stuff and you become the perfect body. I think a lot of people approach happiness the same way. I'm gonna do this, this, and this, and I'll magically be happy. Instead, what I tell people, instead of saying that I'm gonna be on this diet to lose weight, but I'd rather say is that eat these types of foods, have a plan so Correct. that this happens. And so for happiness, I tell people, and, and, and I'd like your thoughts about that. I said, tell, tell me how you feel when you're the, at your best or when you're most content. And then set up the scenarios that can make that happen so that it's a consequence of everything that you do, not just one particular thing. You know, I think, would you agree? Uh, well, you, you're directing people to do exactly what they need to do. When something that actually makes them feel happy comes into their life, they have to take the time to capture yes. it. That's the thing we tend not to do. That's why we then think we're not very happy. We just keep going. That's exactly right. We pass far too fast through those That's moments. So and what you're suggesting, what I do in my work, they have to write it down. Right. I have them keep folders of the things, particularly at work, when things go well. That becomes the thing you look at when you begin to doubt yourself. Right. Yes. And you reinforce it. So if you're going on vacation to see the Grand Canyon, you wouldn't just drive by it. You'd stop. Some would. Take Some a would. Yeah, you're absolutely <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yes. But you, you know, you want to take pictures. You want to take right to remind yourself what it is. I mean, it's it's not similar. And writing it down is so important. Yes. You know, how can someone really up level or raise their level of happiness? You know, in, in a concrete way. You know, you started out by saying, you know, how can you be happier? What I will say, and it answers this question also. Yes. So it, you have to set the intention and make the effort. But it's the effort that will give you the life that you actually want. Right. So wouldn't you be kind of silly if you said, you know, I don't want to put any effort towards being any happier. Right. Because, well, why? I think because people think it's all natural. There's right. so many misconceptions that he or she is just naturally happy right. or he or she is naturally thin. These ideas, these preconceived right. notions really kill us. And you're saying, listen, you can actually change that. Just like right. I tell people, your genes are not your life, that you can change them. You can do the same thing. Lastly, how can we, well, how can we choose to be happy if you're in a negative surrounding? I mean, is it possible that you can take you know, you can take all those negative things and make it into something positive. Okay, all kidding aside, you have to change the environment if it's really that bad. And that means taking responsibility. And people forget that that is. We act as though we have no control, and we have so much control. Absolutely. So that is the thing that they can become aware of. You have far more control. You have to take personal responsibility. And if the environment is honestly not good, move. If it is just unpleasant, people aren't as uplifted as you are, they don't, you know, come in with smile, you can still show up 
with the good qualities. Absolutely. You can still be grateful. You can still thank people for things when they bring you a report to your desk. No one stops you from doing those things. And, in I, a day and I tell my business. kids all the time, you know, the situation around you may not always be pleasant, but your reaction to those things can be. They can be pleasant. They can be positive. Absolutely, if you're in an abusive relationship or if you're in an unbelievably bad situation, get out right. and don't make excuses. Get out. But, you know, in most situations are not that bad. In life, life is not perfect. So you have to find those those moments, right? I tell people even find small moments that, that can make a difference. Dr. Success, Thank you, you are awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you.